Hi beautiful people, Lucy and Dre here. And today it is Monday. It is actually October the 23rd, 2017. And I'm coming to you guys with a quick update video. And this is an official update of my weight loss. As you've probably seen from the thumbnail already, and you already know, I am down 11.2 pounds this week. I don't know, I guess I gotta keep looking at it because I really don't believe it. I gotta keep pinching myself, I don't know. The only thing different this time around that I've been doing with keto is I've been moving a lot more, I've been getting in a lot more water, and I'm not snacking on those ev elevation, whatever, net carb bars. And I say net carb bars because net carbs necessarily, you know, I might just be one of those people that, you know, uh, fiber minus carbs equals net carbs. Well, when it comes to snacks, if you watch Stephanie Keto Person or Stephanie The Real Deal, The Business, or whatever she calls herself, if you, if you ever watch her and listen to what she says, she basically says don't count or she doesn't count net carbs with anything other than cruciferous veggies like you know greens and whatnot because those fibers are actual fibers that I guess can counteract carbs. However, you know, some people think by, you know, putting in erythritol or other kinds of uh, weird sugar alcohol sweetener type stuff that you're able to subtract. Why am I hearing that? Anyways, that you're able to subtract those kind of carbs from the initial carb count along with fiber and get a net carb. So I haven't been snacking on any of that. I haven't been eating any fruit. I've just been eating um, as much real meat as I can eat, as little of the processed stuff as possible. And I'm not uh, doing anything like my, the only thing that I have is I'll have like a 22 ounce cup of hot tea, which usually gets very cold before I even end up finishing the whole thing. And therefore, I'm um, drinking water because they say you can count tea as water where you can't coffee. So very little coffee. I've had a couple of cups here and there. But for the most part, I'm doing hot tea. And this, uh, tonight I had Bigelow from Walmart makes a toasted almond bark. Oh, it's pretty good. And I had that with a little bit of liquid stevia. So apparently I'm okay with liquid stevia. Okay with my hot tea, I've been getting in at least 64 ounces of water every day. Is it half my body weight? No. <laughs> but um, some days I actually get in a little bit more. So what do you know? So been doing really, really good uh, as far as that goes. The exercise I've been doing is basically just walking. Um, I'm not really going out of bounds as far as like, I'm not going out of you know the range of anything that I normally wouldn't do. You know whether it's shopping or doing something like that. I'm trying to get as much movement, movement, moving in as I possibly can. And yesterday I actually busted my butt and I cleaned the entire oven. And when I say entire, I mean front, back sides. I literally moved it out of the space and cleaned all in there. I don't know if you know when you cook, like food kind of falls down into the cracks along the side of your oven and it goes down and down the walls and you know, I got OCD and apparently yesterday was proof of that. I cleaned inside, outside, upside down. I cleaned that whole entire oven, even the bottom of it. So you know, that to me was vigorous cleaning. Um, I probably worked on that oven for about three hours, but I only put in 60 minutes of vigorous cleaning. I don't know if like that's cheating myself or doing myself any good, but I did that and I put that in my fitness pal and it told me that I burned X amount of calories and I still didn't eat as much food as I'm supposed to eat for the day. I think that might be hindering things, even though it looks like, I mean, who loses 11.2 2 pounds in seven days? Obviously I do, because I did. And I know it's just the first week and it could be a lot of water weight, but hey, weight is weight. Do we all know where it actually comes from when our bodies are made up of particularly water? At least that's what they say. So anybody who comes to you and says, oh, it's water weight, you know, whatever. Weight is weight, as long as it's not there on the scale when I step on it, I don't care what it was, where it came from, as long as it's off of my body. And that's that. If it fluctuates up or down, hey, I get it. I'm not going to allow the numbers to piss me off. I'm not going to let the numbers make me go out and eat something I shouldn't eat. And I'm not going to let it affect my emotions and whatnot so that I go and binge. Anyways, like I said, I'm going to make this a short video so I can get this uploaded to you guys as quickly as possible. I was actually in the middle of watching The Voice. And I don't know if it's still on. Maybe. Um, 
I actually muted it so I could do this video, like I said, so I can get it out to you guys. So with that said, be happy, be healthy, be beautiful, but just be you. Be the boss of your loss if you're on a weight loss journey. And I will definitely be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Be blessed.